Hi everyone! Welcome back again to our channel, Bebes Nook. As you can see in my background, this is the work area of my bebe while he is currently working from home. And at the same time, ito na rin minsan yung nagiging uh, online class area ni Kuya Lance. And today, we will share with you on how we do the makeover of this work from home area. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Bebes Nook. By the way guys, for you to have an idea kung ano yung uh, itsura or yung image nitong area na to, medyo uh, dark yung color scheme niya. Kasi before, yung color ng bahay namin is uh, nasa ganyang color scheme. Medyo brown, medyo dark. And since uh, nirepaint na namin yung uh, living area namin, so itong area na, na to, yung parang napag-iwanan. So na-retain yung dark color niya, which is actually... Uh, yung most of the part of the area of our home and eh, light colors na. Parang hindi na siya part ng bagong design ng bahay since we changed it to a modern na Scandinavian industrial theme. And since this will be the workplace of my bebe and at the same time an online class area ni Kuya Lance, we want this area to look uh, cozy and light. Before we uh, start and share with you on how we do the makeover of this area, uh, I just want you to know na less than a thousand lang ang nagastos namin for the makeover of this workplace. Bakit 1,000 lang? Kasi uh, yung mga furnitures na nandito before, yun pa rin ang ginamit natin. May makeover lang natin siya. Like for this table, nirepaint natin siya. And I will share with you later on how we do that. And the same with the um, shelf. And as you can see, this white sticker, ito lang talaga yung ginasos namin. Plus of course, yung paint na ginamit para sa table and dun sa shelf. This is the sticker we bought through online. So, brick style siya. So, ito lang yung actually binili namin. Pre-cut na siya kasi ito na yung natira dun sa ginamit namin dito sa wall. So, this is brick type. So, as you can see, nakakat siya ng ganito. Kasi actually, ang size nito is 70 by 77 cm. So, that time, ang price niya is uh, 100 peso. So, we bought 5 uh, pieces nung uh, 70 by 77 cm na wall uh, brick uh, brick wallpaper na foam style siya. So, as you can see dyan sa likod ko, yung wall sticker na yan, 5 pieces ang nagamit ko dyan. So, pinagtugtong-dugtong namin yan. But, hindi mo makikita, hindi mapapansin, kahit malapit ka, hindi mo mapapansin na pinagdugtong-dugtong ko kasi siya. So, imagine uh, 70 by 70 cm na ganun siya. So, kung halimbawa, ito yung flat surface niya. Kasi yung iba kasi, dinidikit lang niya ng by yung kung actual size niya, hindi nila kinakat ng per brick. So, pag pinagdikit mo yan usually, makikita mo yung difference na obvious. Eh, kita nyo ba? Obvious na dinugtong siya yung line. Makikita mo yan from here. Obvious yan. Unless, na kung ikakat mo siya ng ganito, sa ganyan, then i-overlap mo siya, hindi siya mahahalata. Diba? Mas, uh, mas okay. Although, mahirap lang siya, pero worth it siya pag natapos. Kasi hindi mo bawapansin na pinagdugtong-dugtong lang siya. Imagine that, 5 wall uh, sticker yan na 70 by 70 cm. Pero kahit hindi ka mo nang malapitan yan, hindi mo mapapansin na magkakaduktong sila. Then, uh, this this table, actually, marami nagtatanong na to nung pinos namin yung uh, makeover picture na to sa social media. So, um, tinatanong nila kung papaano na kumapit yung paint. As you can see, laminated yung uh, table na to. So, pag pinaintan mo siya, nirepaint mo siya, hindi yun basa-basa kakapit. So, para kumapit siya, sandpaper mo lang siya. But, yung sandpaper, dapat, uh, you use 200 to 300 grit. So, paano malaman? Makikita mo yun dito. So, ang available that time na binili namin sa market is 220. 
So, medyo magaspang siya. So, yan, makikita mo yan. Kung wala nga kayong makita sa likod, you can ask naman the crew, the sales staff, kung na you need a 200 to 300 grit na sandpaper. So, ganito lang yung gagamitin nyo. So, paano nga ba namin siya ginawa? First, tanggalin nyo muna yung mga handles, kung meron man, uh, para smooth yung uh, pag-sanding natin. So, yun nga, isa-sanding mo siya, lihain natin siya. Uh, yung lahat ng part hanggat maaari, lihain natin siya. Then, after that, uh, lagyan natin ng primer. Then, after ng primer, uh, I'd let it dry. Then, uh, sa first coating, use a wood paint, like yung, yung enamel. White, dito ang ginamit namin is white uh, enamel paint. Then, yun, i-paint uh, mo siya. Then, after that, let it dry. Then, Lagyan mo ulit ng paint, i-paint mo siya ulit for the second coating. Then, let it dry again. So, as simple as that. So, pag natuyo na siya, makikita mo na maganda yung magiging outcome niya. And then, we do the same for the shelf. So, yung shelf niya, yan din yung old uh, previous one na nakalagay sa area na to. So, kinat lang namin siya according sa size nung wall para fit siya dun sa wall natin. We just bought an, an invisible bracket para magmukha talaga siyang floating shelf. Plus, as you can see, yung mga uh, nakalagay dyan, uh, yan pa rin yung mga previous uh, collections ni Bebe. So, actually, madami yan eh. Binawasan na namin yung iba. And then, ang nilagay namin dyan is yung more on uh, animes na collection ni Bebe. And this uh, pink Scandinavian chair, we bought it two years ago sa SM MOA. Uh, dati ito nakalagay sa living area namin. So, nilagay ko rito para uh, meron siyang girly-girly vibe din. Uh, dahil minsan, ginagamit ko rin naman itong area na to for uh, editing. So, ayan. Nagmatch na yung look niya sa bagong design ng bahay namin. So, parang hindi na siya others. Hopefully, may nakuha kayong idea at natutunan sa ginawa naming makeover sa area na to. If you have concerns or questions, you can uh, put that in the comment section below. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Bebe Snoop. See you! Bye!